Hey friends, it's Shauna from with blood from vinyl.etsy.com. I am in the middle of um, quite a few things today, but right now we're doing a water slide decal. And if you've paid attention in the last video, I showed you an easier way to apply water slide, water slide, which I absolutely love. And it's different than we're doing it today, mostly because we would have had to have mirrored the image, and I forgot before I printed it. Um, so that that way had had the water slide decal paper coming off the front like this and it was wonderful. I've used it so many times since then. No joke, the cup that we practiced that one on, I went ahead and epoxied and that came out beautifully. That's this one. It's got its final coat of epoxy. It's ready to be sold. It is absolutely gorgeous. I had no issues. It didn't lay any different. It didn't hear any different. It didn't epoxy any different. So those that want to try it that way, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go through and search the group for the video. Um, but that way of applying a water slide is like super easy. I love it. Uh, but it's neither here nor there today because I forgot to mirror this image and you cannot do words if you don't mirror the image first. You can't do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and do this water slide the normal way that you've seen me do before. Um, and you've seen me do this water slide before. It just happens to be the one that I'm currently working on. So that is what we're doing. I can find paper towel. Okay, so when you apply your water slide, the way I apply it is it's before your final coat of epoxy. So this cup has been prepped, it's been sanded, it's been um, painted, it's been glittered, it's been epoxied twice. Some people will apply the water slide after the first coat of epoxy. Um, that's fine if that's what you choose to do. I'm going to try to move in a little bit closer. Oh, you can't zoom because I'm on the forward facing camera. Just kidding. Anyways, okay, let's do this quickly, okay? Because you don't want to see all this. Let me try to move you. Anyways, so that's where we're at. This has been... Whoop. Okay, we should be good now. Alright, this has been epoxy twice. We're going to apply the water slide and let it dry overnight. And then we'll apply the third and final coat of epoxy. So, you have the, uh, the um, water slide, which I sell these water slides ready to, um, ready to apply. So, if you want the water slide, go check out with love from vinyl.etsy.com and you can purchase it there. These are ready to apply. They don't need to be sealed or anything. So, when you get it, you can literally put it in water and stick it on your cup whenever your cup is ready. So, this has been sitting in water for a few seconds. Well, probably way too many seconds. Um... But you take it out of the water when it's slippery and sliding off of the backing. Place it where you want it. Pull the backing out from behind. Watching the there's areas that you want to watch, and you'll you'll get it as as you do more water slides. You'll start to know what areas you want to pay attention to as you're sliding off. So like this water slide decal, I know down here is prone to wrinkles. So when I slide the water slide, I slide it over and down to pull that wrinkle out. Once you have it placed where you want it, you want to start pulling the water out from behind the water slide and getting all of the wrinkles out totally. So let me see if I can do this. Um, I use the silicone squeegee. I'll link it is from Amazon and it's great for pulling the water out from behind the decal and making sure there's no wrinkles. Some questions I get on water slides. They don't need to be cut to shape, meaning you can fussy cut them and they'll work just fine because they're clear. You don't see the outlines or the edges once it's finished. Okay? So there's no need to cut it with a Cricut. You can literally buy it. And this one you've seen before I put it on, it was literally just cut around the edges before I um, applied it. And you can see now too, you don't see the edges of the water slide. As long as there's no wrinkles in it, you're not going to see the edges of the water slide when it's on the cup. So that's it. So now we're going to pat it dry. And I just use paper towel for that. And you let it dry overnight. And then you apply epoxy. That's it. That is BAM done. I love water slides. Um, some quick things to keep in mind because I get messages on. Water slides, clear water slides work best on light or white colored glitters. You're not going to put this 
on this glitter and have it show up as vibrantly, you're going to lose a lot of the color because it's going to blend into the background. Um, that's the biggest one. Make sure when you're doing your water slide, it's on a background that's going to show up because it is clear. So it's, it's like you can even see on this flower, it's not as vibrant as when it was on the white backing. It's, it's going to lose some of the vibrancy, so you're not going to have much luck putting this decal on a darker color glitter. Okay? That's the number one thing to keep in mind. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, message me. Let me know if you want to buy a water slide decal. You can purchase them at www.withlovefromvinyl.etsy.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys.